Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folks see witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. We are at the entrance of Crookback Bog. It's an area that we have heard about a few times so far. Siri had apparently tussled with a witch over in this direction. We had thought maybe it might have been Kira Metz, but it wasn't, and Kira knew of these people. We weren't able to get any information out of her, though, so we gotta go and investigate. The cake, or whatever that was, that we just saw is the start of the Trail of Treats, and you can see them all hanging from the trees here. Now, this is some sort of a local folklore thing, kind of a Hansel and Gretel kind of setup, where children are led into the swamp following the Trail of Treats. Now, supposedly, once they arrive there, they are fed all the food and candy they could ever want. Now, in a world full of war famine and all that kind of stuff. Orphans may be sent out here and they may be willing to go thinking that it's some sort of a paradise that they're going to end up at. But in this game, you're rarely going to find paradise at the end of the road. Doug went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked and bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said, how tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we're light a fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three, the one to fetch the kindlings, thee! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you, go away. I'm looking for the witches of Crookback Bog. You look like a witch yourself. The w w witches of the bog. We can't go in the bog. Gran don't let us. When my brother Zemek went missing, Gran said it was because he went in the woods and got lost. Gran cried an awful lot after that. He could still come back. What are you doing out here alone? We's not alone. We's with Gran. But where did you all come from? We's orphans. All of you? There's a war. So there's orphans. Didn't know that. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You kids see anyone like that? Ain't no lassie's here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tets. They do. I heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, hide them lasses in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits, and it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Listen, the girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. How do you know she was here? I heard she visited the witches in the swamp. But there's no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. Who's Johnny? Johnny, Johnny ate a cat. Come the more in some furry shack. Watch your language. They tell tales and tales, nor but tales. Are you one of the witches of the swamp? I hear Crookback Bog. Witch? Me? <laughs> Nay, I've no broom nor owl and not one wart on me nose. Got a pretty nose, see? Gwen's got a lovely beak. Oh, you darling girl. Our oh, kids are so sweet. You look after these kids? They're my grandchildren. Gran's good to us. Gonna be soup with scratchings for supper. Kids get lost in the woods. I miss them. 
Seen him in the woods. No one has. Just talking to the kids. Asked them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, it was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. Your betrothed? Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter. And her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. A bit of help, please? A young, ashen-haired woman. Just need to know if you've seen her. What are you looking at, children? Wash your hands, we'll go catch crickets. Won't learn anything from you. Aye, cos I don't know nothing. That Johnny knows. He knows a lot. When I ask him something, he says, Wait, I'll scratch my arse and tell you. Ugly word. What you saying? To the hut. You'll stand in the corner. I'll make sure you do. You. Be gone. Be gone. For kids, right? Well, there's some crazy old bat here named Gran, but at least she doesn't look like she's killing these children and shoving them in any kind of an oven. So, well, that's a plus, but there's definitely something very off about this place. We gotta figure out who this Johnny is, too. Can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you, and and Johnny's made up, and and strangers steal kids. Just tell me where I can find Johnny. Johnny's made up. Be gone. Be gone. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must, too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Gran says so. And Gran knows lots. Does your Gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Says strangers might take us. And we'll disappear. The boy who plays with Johnny. He must be brave. Not brave, just stupid. Sat his bare bum on an anthill once. But yeah, he plays with Johnny. He don't listen to Gran and goes in the woods. And then he's got to have a time out. And he eats snails. Yuck. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right, but you gotta do something for us too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Let's play. You hide, but if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. Means he's never hid from the black ones. No looking, and you have to count out loud. All your fingers, toes, too. One, two, three, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ready or not, here I come. Geralt, at least for the sake of Siri always seems to be willing to go out of his way and do a lot of extra little tasks. Whether that involves hunting a monster, finding the Baron's wife and child, going out of his way to do a lot of other things, tracking wolves, for example. This one's a little bit sillier. Gerald is playing hide-and-seek with a bunch of children in order to get information out of them. But I guess... From his perspective, it's a simple enough task. He's got his Witcher senses, which give him a kind of ridiculous advantage when it comes to finding finding these kids. It's not going to take him very long to do it, so you might as well do it. It does seem a little bit off, though, that you have this gruff-as-fuck hero going around playing hide-and-seek with some children. 
<laughs> but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And he, he seems to be willing to do almost anything to find Siri. I wonder if this kind of thing is a tendency that other witchers have. Whether it's just sort of a part of their psychology. I mean, they are trained to be witchers, not all just given mutations and sent out into the world. I wonder if it's part of their training, their witcher training, to sort of have a level of tolerance for dealing with maybe eccentric clients, people that want them to do strange things as part of the jobs to kill monsters or something like that. Like I, am, I can imagine him arriving at some kind of some kind of a job to kill a monster but having to perform some sort of a religious ritual that he doesn't have any sort of interest in but he just shuts up and does it anyway not so much out of respect for the people that he's doing it for just like no respect for the children that he's doing this for but because it's easier for him to go and just keep his mouth shut and do the job the way they want it to rather than complain about it or find some other way no one left hiding you're a wizard right gonna show us some tricks when we get to the cottage no we'll talk about your promise found you all now you gotta keep your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend why wouldn't we promise didn't we Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. Why are you scared to talk? I'm not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come round no more. Once, when we was mushroom picking, he saw his burrow, but Gran yelled at me, said not to talk to strangers, cause then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too, though she says he's made up. Where are you and your friend's parents? Dad, some starved, others were killed, like mine. One day, he went out at dawn to look for berries in the woods. Still some around back then. When I was coming home, I heard the yells. Then, laughing, went up and hid in the bushes near the woods. My mum yelled, and the soldiers laughed. Laid my pot down by the barn door. Is that clean off? I then my mum. It's all right. That's enough. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Cause he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy, cause Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There is a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Thank you. There's some weird shit going on around here, and we gotta go find Johnny. But that'll happen in the next episode. Don't be afraid. You're a bucka? A Luton? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. <laughs> 